551, and welcome back. There is never a shortage of things to do on the pre-Halloween weekend. Take a look at my Friday weekender. Ready or not, uh -huh. here I come. Uh -huh. You can't hide. Come Let's on. go, y'all. I'm gonna find you. And Hands you. up in the yeah. air like yeah. this. Yeah. No. This weekend, the legendary Lauren Hill and the Fugees reunite at the United Center to celebrate the 25th anniversary of her Grammy-winning album. See them on Saturday. Also Saturday, the guests who play their jam-packed playlist of hits at the Des Plaines Theater. R&B legends Jeffrey Osborne and Shantae Moore play a set at the Horseshoe Casino in Hammond. Through Saturday, superstar DJ Dead Mouse plays the Radius, 640 West Cermak Road. And country star Josh Turner is at the Arcata Theater in St. Charles. And I love it if they made it. On Sunday, rockers the 1975 visit the Allstate Arena in Rosemont and Puerto Rican singing star Pedro Capo performs at the Park West. Put it on the rack! On stage, the musical version of Mel Brooks' classic comedy Young Frankenstein is alive and kicking at the Mercury Theater in Lakeview. Catch it now through New Year's Eve. And for Halloween, the Chopin Theater presents a musical version of the serial killer satire, American Psycho. It's playing until November 26th. People say life is too short. I think it's too long. Like, there's so many annoying people out here, and I just can't deal with it. I for like laughs this weekend, Chelsea Handler comes to the Chicago Theater through Saturday. Also through Saturday, stand-up comedian Maria Bamford brings her act to the Den Theater in Wicker Park. Comedian Jessica Kirsten plays the Park West, and funny man Rami Youssef comes to the hideout through Saturday. And for the pre-Halloween weekend, get your four-legged friends in on the fun at the Streeterville Halloween Dog Parade Saturday. There's the family-friendly Fall Fest in Bronzeville, and Batavia gets into the holiday spirit with the parade and festivities at Bat Fest, taking place in downtown Batavia. And you can get more info on things to do for the weekend, my home video picks, and my full movie reviews just by scanning the QR code on your screen with your smartphone. As far as the new movies this week, the pickings are slim and the quality's even slimmer. Five Nights at Freddy's isn't sure if it wants to be a horror movie or a deep psychodrama. Either way, it fails with its confused script and mediocre acting. There are way too many other really decent movies that are out right now than this Dean's List D. What I am recommending you watch is our annual special dig into where we are in the fight against breast cancer. Tomorrow, Dina Bear and I will host a brand new Stories of Hope Facing Breast Cancer, looking at a variety of topics for patients and their families, including fertility, preservation, nutrition, even artificial intelligence and its use in mammography. That is tomorrow evening, 6.30, and then it'll be repeated Sunday afternoon at 4.30. You can watch it right here on WGN or catch it live streamed on the WGN 9 Plus app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV online at WGNTV.com slash live or on the WGN News mobile app. Coming up